What's up superstars? On today's Zero to Hero series, we'll be performing a background removal job. I know there's a bunch of tools out there that will remove the background, but more often I've seen these tools actually hurt the artwork more than its health because it actually downgrades the quality of the artwork after exporting. So even though the artwork is transparent, you're now left with a low quality image. In this tutorial, we've got a very cool scary bear artwork and we're gonna be removing the background in Photoshop the proper way while retaining all the details and high resolution so you can print a high quality transfer like this. So let's head over to our computer so that we can dive deeper into this process. Hi, today we will be removing the background from an artwork. As you can see, this artwork has a white background that we need to remove to make the artwork transparent for printing. The white background would show up when it's printed. The first step is to create a mask for the layer. This allows us to easily reverse any accidental erasures, unlike using the eraser tool. With masks, you can see that by changing the brush color from white to black, we can paint it back and vice versa. Now the next step is to select all the white colors in the background. Go to Select and choose Color Range to select all the white colors. We'll then use the brush tool on the mask layer, setting it to black to remove the background, painting over the edges. While doing this, since the artwork has white elements inside it, those may also get selected by the color range, so we have to bring those back to avoid creating holes in the image. To do that, change the color of the brush from black to white. Black paint selected colors out and white brings them back. Make sure not to erase the outside white or black background, and be careful not to erase the white elements inside. If you do, you'll need to bring them back. This part is critical as we want the artwork to be completely opaque, not partially transparent. So what we're doing here is filling in areas and painting out colors to ensure it's solid. Let's paint this area to make sure all parts are solid. Now the transparency is solid and you won't see the checkered background anymore, indicating it's solid now. That should be good. Let's continue by erasing any remaining white areas and trapped colors inside the artwork. Add a solid color with a vibrant background to help identify any missed white areas. Select the white areas again, given the background change, and carefully paint over them. I made a mistake here, and this is a good example to show what can happen. Instead of painting on the mask layer, I was painting on the actual artwork, which didn't remove the background properly. Always make sure you're working on the mask layer, the black one, and not on the artwork itself. You can still see some shapes remaining. We need to clean those. There are also very thin white outlines within the artwork. We'll address those later. 
We're ensuring there are no holes in the artwork while cleaning the edges and areas not selected by the color range. To remove the white edges, go to Select, Modify, and then Contract. To remove this, select Contract and two pixels should suffice. You'll notice the selection moves deeper into the artwork. Now, use the mask and the black brush to remove the white outline. This looks good. We'll resize it to the correct dimensions and save it. After this step, we'll merge all the layers and send the final artwork to the customer for approval. And there you have it, guys. Make sure you guys bookmark and save this video in case you want to refer back to some steps. We hope you found this video helpful and you learned a thing or two. If there's something specific you'd like to see or learn, please let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please support the channel and smash that like and subscribe button. We're trying to hit 100,000 and we need your help. If you want to see another awesome video where we utilize a very cool AI tool, make sure you check out that video next. My name's Phil. I'll catch you on that next one, guys.